In the following video, we will show you how to use Excel to browse More Intelligence OLAP databases. Once the connection to More Intelligence OLAP source is established, Excel shows up two main panes. The left one to visualize the report, and the right one displaying all the available measures and dimensions in the cube. By simply selecting the desired elements to be analyzed, users can build rich interactive and shareable reports. All of these elements are the result of complex multidimensional data processing formed by more intelligence application. In the current example, we are going to analyze the production in terms of number of hits, tapped weight, charged weight, and productivity. Regarding the chemical analysis, we are going to consider the first carbon sample. Moreover, we will examine some consumptions per ton. For this specific report, we are going to include the following items. First of all, the energy, then the oxygen, furthermore the carbon, and finally the argon. We also want to add into the report the DRI, Direct Reduction Iron Addition. Finally, we want to trace two important process times. The first one, unscheduled delays. And the second one, the tap to tap time. We need now to specify how do we want to browse these quantities. Perhaps per crew, per date or per hit. Let's say we want to study them per steel grade by simply selecting it from the pivot table fill list. To make the report more interactive, Excel offers a new and faster way to filter elements, the slicers. We can insert as many slicers as the total number of dimensions available in More Intelligence Cube. In this example, we are going to insert the year, the month, the crew, and the practice slicers. By simply selecting a year, perhaps a month, and a specific practice, we can filter our table that could be currently holding millions of rows in less than a couple of seconds. Users can arrange all the objects in the spreadsheet as desired at any time without affecting the result displayed by the grid and or by the filters. By doing so, the report can assume a more formal presentation. By using Excel's conditional formatting functionality, we are going to add some performance indicators to the grid, based on manual input rules. By doing so, anomalous elements can be easily tracked at a glance. In the current report, we want to emphasize two specific columns, the energy column and the tap to tap one. As said before, we can use these slicers to filter the grid in order to focus the attention in a specific year or month as well as a specific crew. Once again, we want to make you notice how easy and fast users can find the desired information. This is achieved thanks to more intelligence database structure. Finally, we can insert any kind of chart from the available ones in order to display data graphically, letting the users have a full version of variables behavior, for example, during a period of time or within different steel rates. As seen during this demonstration, a report was built in a couple of minutes by simply selecting the desired elements to analyze, inserting some filters and charts, and giving the desired layout. Since the spreadsheet is connected directly with the data source, our report will always be updated, even when the Excel file is closed and reopened again. All of this is achieved using more intelligence databases combined with one of the most used and well-known softwares in the world, Microsoft Excel.